This is the Audio Dabbler coming at you with a tutorial for the Audio Newsroom. Today I'll be going over Audio Mux. And if you haven't got it, go over to midimux.com and uh, click on the link, take you to the App Store, buy the app, buy the bundle. Really awesome apps. Uh, you can read all about them, but basically, it plug your iPad or iPhone into your computer via the charging cable and it becomes an audio interface or a MIDI controller without the use of wireless which can add a bit of lagginess um, so let's get started once you once you get it download the server and it'll put an icon up in the top and then what I did is I went to the audio MIDI setup and created an aggregate device. That way I can combine my Akai EIE interface along with the iPad and use it as one interface with one, two, six outs and six ins. And so let's go to the iPad, turn it on. Type in my secret code. Bring up Audio Bus. It requires Audio Bus. And in the input, if we want to input, we'll go ahead and do this because we'll use this later. Input Audio Mux into Loopy. Create another channel. Go ahead and throw Jum Jam and Audio Mux like so and then we will open up logic create a new project with the audio instrument and then we can set a stereo input to one and two which is from the iPad and we can set the output to 3 and 4 which is going to the Akai and open up Drum Jam press play and there we have it send in Drum Jam straight to <coughs> Logic via uh, USB cable and we can simply hit record record a bit, play around Stop it. Stop on the app, and there we go. Go back and press play. Sounds great. Now, if we want to get fancy, we can take that same audio track, create a new audio track. We'll go back into the audio one. We can change its output to stereo out which is going to go to the iPad and we can bring this input and get this one to receive from the iPad and then push it to the out make sure input monitoring is on then we can go <coughs> oops back to audio bus now this is a workaround as of right now because eventually Audio Mux said that they would allow you to have the input and the output in the same slot. But for now, we'll just send it to Loopy, and then Loopy will send it back to Audio Mux. And then if we want to put in, say, Flux Effects, we can press play. And see, now it's being processed by flux effects and so if we wanted to record we could record that directly
wanted to take a couple takes. Do a couple of weird stuff. Let's flex to some weird stuff. Stop, and there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. And now we have all these different takes, and we can pick what we want, and we'll solo this. And there we have it. All of the camera connection kit, or camera connection, not the camera connection cable, the USB. No longer need. The camera connection kit. Just a standard charging cable. Alright, this has been an Audio Mux tutorial by the Audio Dabbler for the Audio Newsroom. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you visit the audionewsroom.net. Audio Dabbler out.